Hey guys, it's me Brian from Echo One USA, Team Black Sheep. This is my review of the Voodoo Tactical Short Range Tactical Pack. Let's get started. I gotta go another 2,000 feet to test. Update with the shoulder straps, they're nice and thick and padded, plus the lower back support. It is a godsend. Don't really notice the weight. And have you guys check all the stuff I brought in here. And once I get to the top, I'm going to do a tabletop review or a rock review, whatever I can find. Hey guys, okay, I made it to one of the checkpoints and I'm gonna stop and do a quick rundown of what I like about this backpack. This backpack is made by Voodoo Tactical and it is their short range tactical pack. With that being said, it's like a backpack. It's not your three day pack, but this backpack is pretty awesome. Comparing it to all the other hiking backpacks I've used, this one is very comfortable, very nice, just because you have the nice padded shoulder pads, and then also you combine that with a belt system so you don't have this backpack going wishy-washy and wiggling while you're walking. And you're probably saying, well, all backpacks for hiking do that, all tactical backpacks. Well, this one steps up the game, and I've noticed how it doesn't really put any weight on my back or shoulders at all compared to other ones. You can check my videos, I'll put links below. You can check those and see what I've been using. This has a metal frame on the inside and it doesn't it doesn't really warp or bend or squish like the other backpacks. With this metal frame, it keeps it conformed to your back. It keeps you standing upright, walking upright, and then you add with super comfy lower back pads, which are just ridiculous comfy and just they're awesome like at the one hour mark and this is like the two hour mark I've noticed no back fatigue nothing on my shoulders nothing on my lower back this keeps it so you're not you don't have the lower part of the backpack rubbing on your belt and then transferring to your lower back and just giving you a backache during the hike and at the end of the day so I really like just this back feature also there's no real sweat because you have this air. My back isn't really sweaty. It's just the lower back where it's touching and up here, that's normal, but that's fine. Let me go over the cool features side by side. Okay, you have Molly. I put on Echo and Peel Rag, just swirl it through. You have Molly so you can attach whatever you want. If you want to put a jump pouch, cow back, anything else for more storage, you can. Very nice, very sturdy. It's double stitched or maybe even more, I don't know, but it can support plenty of weight. Uh, you're probably saying, what are these straps for? These are compression straps, as stated on their website. Uh, basically, if you want to shrink this bag, like say if you use up all your food, water, and everything, and you want to squish your backpack so it doesn't, it's not just empty backpack going around, you can cinch these and it squishes everything. Or if you have like a jacket and it's cold in the morning and then it's hot, later in the day you take your jacket off instead of stuffing it in your backpack and keeping that mildew and just nastiness we can do is roll it up put it on the side you know cinch it and these are also uh, adjustable and you can have your back or your jacket on the side so then it can one dry out two not take up other needed room on inside your backpack this backpack has about 1700 plus cubic inches and with the side pouches for the molly and everything, you can double that if you wanted to. You have also little straps, little buckles here, and you have a pack here. This opens up, nice little zipper, and I just put in various things like 550 cord and other small items. Open this up and you have a, another pouch. Um, I just put in a large box first aid kit just to show you that you can fit a lot of stuff in this little pouch that looks very small. So you can close that up and you can put whatever you want in here. You have plenty of room. Close this up and you can also do the same thing like say if you have multiple uh, or even like a sleeping mat. You can roll up, put it under here for that iconic backpacker look and you can extend these little straps and that will hold more gear so you can have jackets, materials, and more jackets on this side. Left and right side is basically the same. You have more molly. I just put on some electrical tape 
and a little carabiner just because. And the bottom, it's nice and reinforced. You have two large straps, heavy duty stitched in here. You have a loop through here in case you want to put more materials or tie stuff on. Um, dragged this on some rocks and just kind of threw it around trying to beat it up. So far so good. I don't see any frame and I'm quite impressed with just the outside. Okay, let me go on start on the inside. You have a, another pouch on top. I have random things like GoPros and cliff bars and plenty of room. Um, I would suggest, um, well on a side note, if you're hiking, please bring an extra plastic bag. Put your trash in, don't litter the top section. First off, you notice it's a small back and it's not keeping that traditional rectangle shape. It's more of a weird uh, polygon shape. So it's more streamlined. This also gives you more testosterone when you jam past the little Jansport backpack people. So, and you have a cool point. So open this up and you have plenty of storage, basically the same as down here. So you can put whatever you want in here. You have Molly on top as well. That's pretty cool. Now you're probably saying, well, you have all these little pouches. What about the inside? The inside is pretty cool. I'm gonna call this no more cave backpack syndrome. Basically when you open other backpacks, you have to like hold it just right to capture the light to get in there because it's like this bottomless pit. This backpack is pretty awesome because it can do this. It opens up, so now I can see another pouch here, which I have my wallet, keys, sunblock. I have my pen pal for stabbing stuff. So I can put stuff in here that I want to keep separate from everything else. You do have little key clips. I'm not a fan of these. I would just assume that they would rattle and just drive me crazy. But say if you want to put whatever stuff on there, you can. Two little key clips and a little loop here so you can put whatever else on there. So I have room for um, soft goods like a sandwich and hard goods like beef jerky in case I find a Sasquatch. And on the inside, you have all kinds of storage room. And you're probably saying, well, it's still a big, still a big storage area and you're gonna squish your sandwich and everything. Well, the cool thing is, you can have your camelback, like so, and this big old camelback, in this somewhat water resistant, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's water resistant, I haven't tried it yet. Um, I've noticed a little leaking, I don't know if it's from condensation, but I do not feel any moisture coming from the bottom of the bag, so, so far, yes, I think it is water resistant. Um, I would say check the website verify but I have the camelback on the center and center pouch and then on the sides I have uh, larger drinks so it's basically drink camelback drinks and then I have like the beef jerky in your price and well your banana and stuff like that is just gonna get squished but not really the cool thing I've noticed is you can have a lot of heavy items like drinks and cans on the bottom, that makes sense, and if you want to keep it separated, you can do is cinch the sides, cinch them, so then it kind of squeezes and cuts off so stuff does not go to the bottom and vice versa. So now you can have all your heavy smash items or basically things that will smash other things like your Gatorades and V8 cans. They, they stay on the bottom and then your soft goods like your sandwich and everything will stay on the top safe and nice and ready to eat. So that's one cool thing I really like. Let me go ahead and close this up. Another cool thing which I haven't seen this really before except comparing to my other packs that you have a cool feature. Where did it go? In case like when I was up in the redwoods and it's very rainy and dewy. This thing, bam. So now my shit isn't gonna get wet. I like this just because I don't have to worry. I don't want to have a plastic bag. I'm like, oh, my phone's gonna get wet, my wallet. 
No, I can have this and keep all my stuff nice and dry and tuck it back in. And bam, it's very fast, very nice. And I just like that feature because I can keep all my stuff nice and dry and out of harm's way. Cool features also will be the zippers. They're very nice, they're not, they don't get stuck. Like sometimes you're gonna encounter zippers that get stuck. I sat there on the couch before I came up here and just going like this, just trying to break them. So far, no, they're not gonna break. And also you have a nice cord. It's tied and then also melted on the end so it's not gonna fray. Little things like that I really like just because it's kind of like, you know, I'm going to get this backpack and I don't want it to fall apart on me. And it's just, it's a really nice backpack. The little attention to detail, like how you can have a little loops for camelback on either side. You have adjustable chest harness if you want. You can slide it up and down, you know, depending, you can make this fit you, you know. I'm a, a tall guy and this fits me. And if you're a short person, this will fit you as well. So, I really like this backpack. And this has been my review of the Voodoo Tactical backpack. It's the short range tactical backpack. So if you like this, go ahead and check out the links below for the website. I'll just link directly to Voodoo's website and you can check it out and learn more. A quick recap. This backpack retails for about $100 to $120 depending on where you buy it. So with this, yes, I would say it's worth every penny just because all the little features it has down to the zipper cords up to the shoulder pack, super comfy, and the metal frame that holds it and keeps it nice and rigid down to the back saving. Just, uh, this, this alone, this makes it awesome. So I'd say go ahead and check out the Voodoo website and purchase yours today. So thanks again for watching. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up, click the like button below, and also subscribe. I'm going to do more adventures and reviews out in Mother Nature like this. So if you want to see more videos, go ahead and click up here. I'll put some over here so you can see my zombie run and plus other outdoor videos. So remember, like, subscribe. And if you guys want to see any other uh, outdoor like review videos or backpacks or hiking stuff or just gear in general, go ahead and comment below. Let me know. I can ask those people for other product reviews. Okay, thanks again. See ya. Bye. Okay, I finished the log top review. And now I'm going to continue up the mountain and basically see if this voodoo pack is worth it. There's the backbone. And I'm here. Still rocking with my voodoo bag. No problems, no nothing. I actually really like it. Thanks, Jason. So here's some um, basically little video clips and pictures showing me going up to the tip top. As you can see by the placard, it's about 10,000 feet. It would take a little more. Made it. And it's pretty awesome. It's cold. Really tired from this backpack. Just gonna head back down now and do a quick rundown on what I like about it. Hey guys, I actually used the pack all day, got on the mountain around 9-ish, a little before 9 and almost 5. So used it all day, hiked, I still have a power right in there, I still have some water in my kennel back, basically loaded up extra trying to tire myself out. It did work, my feet and knees are very tired, I would say on a scale of 1 to 10 for tired level, I would say like 4 days worth of Magic Mountain, my feet killing me. But the good news is, my shoulders, you know, there's no bruising, no red, you know, it doesn't hurt. 
uh, my lower back. You know, I don't feel I don't feel tired. You know, it actually does help. I uh, basically had it cinched so it's there's no wiggle when I'm walking up and down. So it it's a really good backpack. And for like 100, 120 bucks, depending on where you buy it, it's actually a really good deal. There's probably more out there, more expensive packs and everything, that are for like if you're gonna do this backpack for like three days. But for what it's designed for, the short range tactical pack, it does everything. So I filled it up with plenty of stuff and it worked great. And I was thinking, you know, I carried a lot of stuff and you know I can use this for hiking, which I am. This can be a new official hiking backpack. Like say if you're a college student, you have books and a laptop, that adds up. That's pretty heavy. I have a feeling like how the back support is, that would come in handy. You might want to look into that. And then same for like if you're going to go to the range or anything tactical that you have to look cool with Molly. You know, this, this backpack come, covers like all three spectrums of what you could do with it. There's probably more stuff out there. Who knows? But overall, it's a great backpack. So thanks again for watching. Make sure you guys click the like button. Go ahead and subscribe. And yeah, tell your friends. Thanks for watching. Bye.